I mean, from my point of view, I, mean, I run the studio here, and not just the actual team, the talented dev team that we have working on Battlefield 3, but for me, Frostbite 2 is uh, a, gen a new generation change for DICE as a whole. Instead of just churning out the same kind of versions of a game on the same engine and putting out another version of the game every year, like some of our competitors do, we feel it's very, very important to keep being innovative, to keep driving quality and to deliver something that we expect the fans what they that they want. They want to see not just new features, not just new game modes, those are important as well of course, but a new technology leap as well. And that's what we felt like after Bad Company 2, it was time to take another leap with the engine and create Frostbite 2, which we have now spent a lot of time doing. In Bad Company 1, we introduced destruction for the first time in Battlefield. And uh, you could destroy walls, you could destroy small objects, and we had terrain destruction as well. In Bad Company 2, we took it a step further with uh, fully collapsible buildings. In Battlefield 3, we're going to take all of that, uh, but we're also focusing on scale, uh, because uh, one thing that we always wanted to do with Battlefield is to uh, really big city environments. So that's like the, the big challenge for us now moving forward, is uh, sort of getting that big scale destruction in there. When it comes to, uh, to destruction and uh, ambient war around the, the play area. That's something we're focusing a lot on, especially in multiplayer. We started focusing on a lot during Bad Company 2 to, to really give the sense of a huge battle going on around you uh, as you play, uh, to sort of accentuate what's going on in the, in the Battlefield match. Uh, that's something that we, we want to keep doing and try and take to the next level with Battlefield 3 and really sort of uh, up the scale and, and uh, have bigger sort of set piece destruction modes. The main idea with Frostbite from the beginning, beginning of Frostbite 1 already, was to create an engine that utilizes the main, all the power of the, the next-gen console, which at that time was like next-gen PC and PlayStation 3 and 360, of course. It has never been built from the ground up to be an engine that we want to license out and, and find some kind of a business model attached to selling licenses, etc. Now, if other people, other studios within EA want to use it, I'm more than happy with that, and I know the guys are going to be very proud about that. We'd rather keep that technical excellence and keep that as a, an edge towards our competitors and keep it locally within EA.